Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to cite the National Archives. If you're working with documents from the National Archives, citing them correctly is crucial. Here's how you can do it. First, you need to identify the key elements of the document. This includes the record title, the file number or record locator, the series, the subgroup, the record group, and the repository where the document is located. For example, if you're citing a textual record, you might start with the record title and file number. Let's say you have a document titled Request for Writ of Habeas Corpus with a case file number 220. You would then identify the file unit, such as general case files, and the series like U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Illinois, Southern Division, Springfield. Next, you need to specify the record group and the repository. For instance, Records of District Courts of the United States, Record Group 21, National Archives and Records Administration, Great Lakes Region, Chicago. If the document is part of a microform record, you'll need to include additional details like the photograph or sound recording number, the title or description of the item, and the date. For example, photograph number P4561082522, Stilling Basin, close-up view of upstream area of Stilling Basin showing ice formations, January 1955, Palisades Project, Records of the Bureau of Reclamation, Record Group 115, National Archives and Records Administration, Rocky Mountain Region, Denver. When using APA style, the format is a bit different. You'll need the author, if available, the date, the title or description of the material, and the source. For instance, author, last name, first name, year, month, day, title or description of material, name of collection, call number, box number, folder number, name of repository, location of repository. In MLA style, you include the author's last name, first name, the title or description of the material, the date, the collection name, and the repository details. For example, author last name, first name, middle name, or initial, title or description of material, day, month, year, collection name, collection identifier, box number, folder number, name of repository, location of repository. For digital documents, you should include the URL and the date you access the document. For example, title or description of material, day, month, year, collection name, collection identifier, box number, folder number, name of repository, location of repository, URL if applicable. Remember, the key is to provide enough information so that someone else can easily locate the document. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.